I did tell you, but you do, do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out my hand. No one. My Father who has given to them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. He's saying they put their faith in me. I got them. You can't separate them from me. I am the finisher of their faith. God, who is stronger than anyone, is in me. And I and him, me and the Father are one. And I'm coming against what's coming against them. Ain't nobody snatching you out my hands. If you will but sign for this, what God is selling to us, eternity through Christ, forgiveness of sins, a new life, from a slave to a son, unholy to holy, um, unrighteous to righteous, a new creation we can walk out in. And then we can stand as such. That's where our misgivings come. We, we get Christ and then we seemingly um, shudder back from him. We never live up to the expectations that he has for us. He has given us the keys to the kingdom. Like we need to take it out for a test drive. Some of us are willing to settle for like 10 mile an hour. Listen, baby, he gave you a little bit more power than 10 mile an hour. We driving like old ladies through town or through this life. And he say, now nah, you got a sports car, baby. You got something to go. What's he say in the parable of the sower? He says, some will bear 30, 60, or 100. How fast you will go? Because your car is capable. Your king is everlasting. He is the finisher of your faith. Don't blame him if you're willing to just settle for putting along in this life. Go test the limits. Live a life worth living in your Jesus. See what he's got for you. Miracles are um, found daring to follow him. They ain't safe in that comfort zone where you like don't want to press that accelerator because I, you don't know what might happen around the bend. I'm telling you, Jesus is found um, not in recklessness, but in faithfulness in boldness, in believing that you are willing to follow, you are willing to press the accelerator a little bit more because he says to. So don't blame no one else. You won't know what the difference between 30, 60, and 100 is? What you want. Because he's got all. He is willing to give you exactly, and he will give you no more than what you want. If you will settle with 30, he'll give you 30, baby, I promise you. And he'll be happy about it, and you might be thrilled of it. But if you want more... The kingdom is capable of so much more. You can dare go 60. And for you little hot rods, 100 is available. But you're going to have to work up to 100, I promise you. He ain't trusting you just behind the wheel with 100 miles an hour. Like, you've got to be ready for it, but you can do it. You can handle it all day long if you are willing to pay the dues to 